All right, so in this video, I am going to show you from beginning to end some tips on how you can make your first wig. This isn't my first wig I've ever made, but I uh, thought I would make this video for those of you who would like to see how I do it again and just some updated tips. But these are the materials that you would need, uh, some pins, uh, needle and thread, scissors, and a cap. This is a U-part wig cap that I got from my local beauty supply store. And then I also have some hair that I got from My First Wigs, which is a sister company of RPG Show. But back to this wig cap, I will make sure I put a link down in the description box so that you can be able to find it as well as these materials that you see here. You can also find them at your local beauty supply store as well. So the first thing you want to make sure that you do is to secure your cap onto a canvas head and I got this canvas head and stand that you usually would have for like a beauty store well not a beauty store but a beauty school and I found it on amazon.com and I got both of them for a total of like $50 so I'll make sure I link that in the description box as well and I also have my needle threaded my curved needle threaded and ready to get started so everything is pinned down so the first thing that I do is I attach the uh, lace closure first. Um, I tend to do this to make sure everything is adjusted and this also helps with fitting. So to adjust fit and to make sure that uh, I don't have to use more hair than I actually need to. Uh, I know some who actually decide to sew all of the tracks down first and then after they're about halfway done they'll go into doing the, uh, the closure. So in this case, since I'm doing a closure that is a side part, I figure I would make sure that it's placed down first. And you wanna make sure that it's pinned down, flush to the cap as well as the canvas head. And then you wanna start uh, sewing it down. And how I sew it down is really just like a looping method. So yes, I'm going through the cap and the lace closure. And you want to do this with a nice tight loop all the way around. So pretty simple and easy. If you're using a curved needle, which you should be using a curved needle, it is a lot faster and it's easier to uh, work with. So once your closure is done, what I do is start from the back and I go all the way up. So as you see, I'm putting the thread through the weft of the hair first and then I attach it to the very bottom piece of the cap. I use pins because this makes it a lot easier for me to sew faster and I don't have to worry about holding the track hair and sewing at the same time. And I use a particular uh, stitch, which is called a quilt stitch. It does have other names, but um, this is the easiest way that I can show you how uh, to do it. And if I run out of thread, I just kind of loop around a couple of times and then uh, tighten it and cut it. And as you see here, I'm using pins again, and this is called a fold over method. So I do not cut the wefts of any hair to start off the next line of track or the line of hair. I just simply fold it over and try to knot that in flat down and then I begin to uh, sew the rest of it down. So again, I'm showing you what that fold over method looks like and I make sure I pin it down 
make sure you do not sew into the elastic bands you just want to make sure that you go to the edge of the caps and keep those elastic bands clear of track hair and of thread so that you're ba you'll be able to adjust the wig onto your head after you have installed uh, the wefts onto the wig cap. Again, with the fold over method, as you can see, just folding it right on over. And I'm using my pins so that I can keep uh, my tracks in line. So all I have to do is just sew. I make sure it's leveled as best as I can so that I'm making that uh, back and forth U shape. And I make sure that I cannot be fold down as much as I can to the cap. And I just continue to sew. So at this point, I have gotten as far as a pack and a half, maybe two packs, because I have three uh, packs of the weft hair. And this is what I'm left off with. And usually I would do a fold over method at the edge of the cap, but because this is a side part wig, I decided that it probably would be best that I would just go ahead and cut the rest of the tracks uh, at that end. So I took the pin out and I cut that and re-measured it or readjusted it so that it kind of like has that nice curve from the front of the wig all the way to the other side just to close that gap up. So at this point, I'm just cutting all of the tracks and sewing them down from this point. So once I get to my last track, which would be the one closest to the uh, lace closure, I go ahead and attach the lace closure edge and that weft of hair together. And that just gives a more like seamless appearance when the hair uh, falls or lays down. So when you have the closure lean over the track hair, it looks a little bit more natural. And that is how I do my side part wigs. You can do the exact same thing with curly hair and for center parts as well, especially if you're using this particular cap that has a cut for your center or um, side bang. So that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Gave you some really good simple tips on making your first wig. Um, pretty much the same methods that I've always been using may have a little bit of an update and hopefully it was easier for you to notice the steps that I take. Make sure you check out my wig making 101 playlist. You can find out even more videos there as well. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the description box. And I will make sure that I answer them. And also make sure you check out the videos for the rest of this series by sponsored by RPG Show for my first wig. I'll see you guys in the next video.